in the pre-shuffle that I did, this card came out. It's very important. The star card. So if you're watching this and you feel like you are meant for something great or you are going to transformation or you're trying to understand where your life is headed, then this video is probably for you. Welcome Scorpios, another reading in this glorious my office. Welcome to my office. Uh, <laughs> Le Officina. How are you? We're going to be starting your reading in a moment. Um, but let me explain how it works first. Um, I'm doing a tarot reading for you guys. Um, you can watch this as any way you see fit. Meaning, it is not based on ascendant, moon sign, sun sign. Not at all. It is not a chart. It is tarot for a reason. So you can watch it, you know. The way the tarot works, and I'm the reader, I can tell you and explain you how I, how I work and how this works. It picks up the energy of the person in front. You can watch any reading. That's why if you watch the All Signs reading, you will resonate with that one. You watch a Pick a Card reading, you will resonate with that one. It's because it's speaking your energy. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can watch this reading. I already di did the prediction for Scorpio, for the um, Venus and Libra, okay, for all the zodiacs. I did that, so make sure to check that out. It's very important for you to know what is the Tarot, Oracle, and Astrology. Three combination. If you guys miss out, I'll put it in the comments below so you guys can watch it. Okay. So let's see what's going on for the Scorpios. There's also something that I'm, I'm, I'm letting go of and it needs a new home okay, for my office. So let's see here, Scorpios. Let's see. So there's an argument here. Mm -hmm. That Ooh, okay. Let me see. What's, oh, okay. King of Wands, Knight of Cups. Can be an Aries you're connecting with, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do you guys have for me? Okay. Ooh. Oh, Eight of Swords. Welcome to the party. The Scorpio party. The paranoia party. The overthinking party. You should watch the, um, this message is for you because this card was the second card in that reading. And you probably um, will get some answers there. Having the Eight of Swords for the Scorpio, this is mental frustration. This is the part where you, okay, whoever's watching there, has so much questions right now with a person that you are in a relationship with. You feel like they haven't been honest because it came from the Seven of Swords. So then there's doubt, Eight of Swords. When someone lies to you, you create scenarios. And that is a very no that is known for a Scorpio to have. Because the Scorpios are ruled by their subconscious, okay, in the eighth house. So it means like they're good at detective. They're very good at going through the details, the knickknacks. So this is the time where the pros and the cons of your life became becomes your downfall. Okay. You good at um, investigating becomes now your paranoia. Like, oh, I shouldn't have seen it. I shouldn't have dig deep, you know, eight of swords because then now I'm stressed. I shouldn't have asked, you know, because I know they're going to lie and I hate that when they lie, but I cannot tell them that I know the truth. Mm -hmm. Stressful time for the ace of swords, for the Scorpio. Um, feeling trapped, unable to speak of the truth, and you knowing the truth, you know, becomes now a prison. You created this, you know. Knight of Swords. I want to talk to them, right? That's the Knight of Swords. Um, but then I'm going to be angry, you know, but you're frustrated. You have the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Frustration is just crazy. I don't even know where to start, Sal. Knight of Swords and Eight of Swords. I want to speak and clear everything with them, right? But then we're just going to have a fight. Mm -hmm. Now, the Knight of Swords over here, this is now showing that this is haste. The Knight of Wands is fast. The Knight of Swords is faster. 
So there is something urgent in this relationship that you want to talk about. There is something that you want to address right now. You know, when you have this, um, you have this inkling uh, feeling like I need to text, I need to text. I want to, I want this person to basically um, respond. This is like something brewing inside of me, you know, and it's about the truth because they were avoiding you with the eight of swords because mm -hmm. it came from the seven of swords. So now you're in the hunt, right? And it's the part where you don't like. You don't like that feeling of Martian, like ready to burst. You don't want that. Not at all. Not, that's, not, that's not something that you enjoy because it depletes your energy. You know, you go zero to 100 and then zero again. So then it does create so much, um, I feel like, uh, nervousness, anxiety, and tension within, you know? But you can't. You want to talk to them, right? You want to talk to them. Five of Pentacles. The no contact, right? The ignoring each other. Again, watch the, uh, the, uh, the recent upload that I did for today. Um, Five of Pentacles. They haven't been in touch and I wouldn't talk to them because I will refuse to because it's just going to become more aggravating there's going to be more fights it's just more you know so i won't i don't want to add to this anymore this is the five pentacles i'm just getting i'm just going to ignore it sit on this but it eats you up from the inside knowing that the person has lied to you and here's also knight of swords to the five pentacles avoiding mm -hmm. avoiding mm. avoiding each other Avoiding each other. Avoiding. Why are they avoiding you? And why are you avoiding them? That's my question here. Why? Right? Oh. You have a king of wands. A uh, queen of wands, sorry. And nine of pentacles. So arrogance here. This is a very arrogant card. The queen of wands and the nine of pentacles. You, on your end, of course, it's more of fear. On their end, is their like high and mighty? Because the queen over here shows, you know, a certain um, you know posture of I'm I'm independent from this. I don't need you. I don't need you. Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Wands. Your person is saying here that they don't need you. Mm. Sun card. I just need to know the truth. Now, the sign over here is about, you know, being on the same page. You want this to work, right? You won't be here. Are you going to waste your time watching a reading if you don't want to work it? Or you're just talking with the Eight of Swords. You're just trying to say, like, oh, let me see what they're up to. Because uh, they haven't talked to me. They haven't responded. So maybe Sal has the answer. Maybe a reading will give me the truth. The hope. The sun card. Let's just be honest over here, Scorpio. Right, we don't need, you know, you can't lie to a reader. We know the back end of this. The part where you, this person hasn't reached out to you is, um, from what I'm seeing, is that's what bothers you. It really bothers you that, let me see, these are my devotion pouches that I made. Okay, um, I feel like this is more of what I would recommend for you guys. Um, anyway, so the sun card. The sun card and the, let me share this in a little bit. Um, the sun card over here is that you want things to be back to normal. It's about, I want to hear from them. You know, like, what's going on? Like, why not responding to me? I just want to see you. You know, part of you really just want to see them. But part of you, you want to put them on the spot and then basically get into those little details that you've been wondering if they're lying to you. Okay. Now, this is the devotion pouch. I'll share it in a little bit. So I made like different pouches um, for whatever you're devoting your energy. Okay. Um, so that way, you know, like you can, you know, use this as a tool um, for the Scorpios, who's definitely stressed right now with the Nine of Swords, who's definitely going around in circles, you know, just inside their head. Now, the Sun card is the most happy card. So you want things to be back to normal with a sun card. Let's see. 
Oh, maybe there's a chance. There's a will of fortune. Everything does spin. Mm -hmm. Fate has a way of, well, turning things around. Mm -hmm. So from no contact, and there's contact. From lies to truth, right? So this is the part where there will be a sudden change. But the Wheel of Fortune is also the part where you have to take a leap of faith. This is about taking a chance on Lady Luck. Like, you will give them the benefit of the doubt first. Will you do that, though? Just because you want to see them. So you probably will let go of all the things first before you can see this person. Hmm. A sudden change is about to happen between you and your person. If there was a delay, then there's moving forward. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a decision coming from them. I'm seeing that. It can be Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio here. A fixed sign. Ooh, I can read. A reading is never complete if there's no Tree of Swords. Is this what you want to see, Scorpio? Is this what you have been feeling? Pain? Again, watch the first reading I did today. That if you're seeing this in this message, it's free. I feel like you, you this reading and that reading, if you put two and two together, you may get something. I wouldn't recommend it if it didn't connect. The Wheel of Fortune and then the Tree of Swords. It feels like you want to understand why this person refuses to fix it. Or this person refuses to answer your call. This person refuses a lot of things. And it breaks you. Mm. And they're very, very arrogant with the Nine of Pentacles or the Queen of Wands. And it annoys you because you're not trying to be arrogant with them. you know. But they're giving you the cold shoulder. They're giving you the whole like, hmm not going to talk to you, Five Pentacles, right? But then you have this. It's like, I don't want this. I don't want this feeling of uncertainty. I don't want this feeling, you know. If anything, I want this. But right now, you're here. Are you going to take a chance on this? You know, are you going to take a chance? Let me see what devotion pouch that I made. You know, I'm not done. Also, okay, with there's uh, there's a flame, I mean, amethyst flame that I feel like we have already um, ready to separate, you know, it has served its purpose for me and it's time for it to have a new home. Oh, yes, this is this one. Now, communication is an issue. Now, this is carnelian, okay, with citrine. Okay, there's three crystals here, okay. So communication is an issue. So this is this can be devoted to communication. You have here, it comes in a pouch, guys. So I just made this. So it's like, oh, let me make it for the reading. Okay. And then it has a rough stone. Okay. And then, of course, it has a heart. Okay. I believe this is Rodolcrisite. I can I cannot pronounce it. Okay. I have to check. But I'll put it in the description box. Okay. What is this pouch about? Okay, so all these uh, four items right here. I'll put in a pouch for you. Now this is a devotion pouch, so I'm not sure what you're putting, what you're putting your energy for, Scorpio. But this can be something that you will be, you know, you'll be able to use. Uh -huh. So check it. I'll put it in the description. Yeah. Now let me continue. Oh no, sorry. I'm gonna continue. But this is the. The amethyst flame that I have used in my journey here in my work, and I feel like it's time for a new home. So this is only one, you know, one. Um, so whoever gets it, you know, I wish you the best, and I wish you that what luck and opportunity that has brought to me be brought to you also. Okay, so okay, saying goodbye to it, um, because I'm gonna be, um, you know, there are crystals that I will be, uh, you know, it's cleanse of course before you get it. So you can put your intention, but of course, like how it has brought me opportunities that girl, you got it. <laughs> so we or guy, whatever you want to associate with. Okay. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Swords. 
you want the pain, you want honesty, you want communication from them, you want everything to basically to turn around. This is what you're expecting from your person, Scorpio. Um, you want the joy, you want to go on vacation, you want to see them, you know, again, but no response. Ooh, what is this? What does it look like? The sudden change that you've been waiting for? The tower and the ace of pentacles? Something is about to come towards you unexpectedly. You see that? Mm -hmm. Link down there in the description box below. Let me continue this reading. Let's see what happens next. Very, very excited for you, Scorpios. Bye.